So we've discussed sharing and permissions in Onshape. Let's take a moment to discuss some tips for effective collaboration in Onshape. It's important to remember when you collaborate with others in Onshape, you're not working on separate copies. Everyone is in the same document at the same time. This means there's one single set of CAD data that everyone can edit at the same time. So when a person makes a change to the document, everyone else in the document instantly sees it update. So real-time collaboration opens up a world of possibilities, but also opens up a few questions. One of the most common questions is, how do I know who's in the document and what they're doing? The answer is what we call collaboration cues. There are various cues throughout Onshape's interface that give you an indication of what your collaborator is doing. Let's take a look at them. One of the first cues that someone else is in the document is the social cue in the top right. Anyone that is currently in the document will have an icon here. You will find these same social cues indicating what tab that person is currently in. If they switch tabs, you'll instantly see that reflected by the social cue moving to a new tab. So you can see that they're in the document by the social cue in the top right. You can see what tab they're in by the social cue in the tab, but how can you tell what they're doing? When a person you've shared with edits a feature or creates a new feature, you will see cues in the feature list to indicate this. One last thing to mention, if you double click the social cue of your collaborator in the top right, you are then following their screen in real time. We call this follow mode. It's a great way to communicate with a collaborator as you're both looking at the same exact thing at the same time. To exit follow mode, simply left click anywhere in the graphics. This will exit follow mode, but leave you in the same model position and orientation as you are viewing on your collaborator's screen. 